Hello, this is Mike Lively, and welcome to a new series on Ajax and AIR. Now, if you've never heard of the term Ajax in computer programming, you're probably thinking about that super cleaning material that's used to clean your toilet and bathtub from its horrible scum and stains. But that's not what we're using Ajax for. Actually, in computer programming, you should think more of something like this. Ho oh, ho, yes, that's right. And uh, pretty much uh, Ajax became famous with Google Maps or was an eye-opener when we saw we could do asynchronous stuff. Now, what does asynchronous mean? That means we can actually transfer data in and out of a web page without actually having to refresh or change that web page. And that's what Ajax is all about. And in this particular uh, video today, we're going to actually set up Ajax and Air using Dreamweaver. So once again, Ajax stands for Asynchronous JavaScript and XML. The term Ajax has come to represent a broad group of web technologies that can be used to implement a web application that communicates with a server in the background without interfering with the current state of the page or refreshing that HTML page. Now, in my present job, I use Ajax all day long. So uh, this actually is one of the first uh, tutorials I've actually done on JavaScript or Ajax. And so you guys are probably going, wow, I didn't know that you did that. And yes, I do. And that's all I do pretty much all day long is work with Ajax applications and a combination of Flash as well. So what we're going to do in this particular video is uh, take you to the one-stop site for uh, Adobe Ajax. And once you get there, you're going to want to make sure that you have Dreamweaver 5. Uh, if you have 4, this may work, but it didn't work for me, so I'm telling you to get 5. You want to download and install Adobe Air. You want to download the free SDK for Adobe Air, and from that we'll be able to get a number of files that we're going to need to make this work. You want to download and install the Air Developers Tool for Dreamweaver. You want to create and sign your application, and then you want to make sure you add the Air alias Java script file so you can start cranking away in JavaScript. So that's what we're going to do today. So let's go ahead and uh, take you to the one-stop site for Air and Ajax. So right now I'm on the Adobe Ajax site and I'm on uh, www.adobe.product slash air slash tools slash Ajax. And after you've downloaded Dreamweaver, and you can actually just go down to downloads and download that. If you don't ha have it, if you haven't purchased it, you can use a 30-day free trial just to make sure if you like it or want to buy it. If you work in education as I do, then you actually get an 80% discount or your school itself may have even a better discount. Uh, once you've done that, you've downloaded Dreamweaver, you want to make sure that you download the integrated environment. Okay, and once you've downloaded that, then you want to make sure that you download the free Adobe SDK. And once you've downloaded that, you want to make sure that you download the development tools. So let me show you how to do that step by step. Click on the download error. And this is extremely simple. Just click the button download and everything should install and your system should be ready to go with Air. That means you can run Air applications. Let's go back one. Next step, of course, you want to download the SDK. And uh, you're going to be going right into the SDK and actually grabbing files that you're going to need to run the applications we show you today and in upcoming videos. So really, you know, this is fantastic. You can Air, Air runs on Mac, on Linux, and on Windows as well. And uh, it is cross-platform, and uh, that's what's so beautiful about it, is when we start getting into the Spry technology, you'll actually be able to run uh, different uh, JavaScript programs on various uh, operating systems with not, without worrying about um, any cross-browser issues. So let's go back. Once you've done that, you actually want to make sure that you download and install the Air Development Tools for Dreamweaver. If you do not do that, then Dreamweaver will not work correctly. You've got to have certain items in the Dreamweaver drop-down list. By doing this, uh, you'll be able to do that. So you want to click on this and go ahead and download the Dreamweaver extension right here. And once you've got that extension downloaded and running, so click on this, you're going to run the MXP file, which which will run on a Mac, a Linux, or Windows. Once you've downloaded it, run it through the Extension Manager, you'll be all ready to go. So let's bring up Dreamweaver and show you what you get. So I've brought up Dreamweaver, and what you want to do after you've installed the Air Dreamweaver tools, you want to make sure you shut down Dreamweaver and start it up again. And when you do, if you go to the Site menu, you should have a few additional menu items. And one should be an Air application settings and another a Create Air menu item. And with that, we're going to do all our Air work. The first thing I want to do in Dreamweaver is go ahead and create a site. So I'm just going to go to uh, my uh, directory, and I'm actually on the desktop, and I'm in the JavaScript folder, and I'm in something called an AirJS folder, and I'm just going to create a demo folder. Set new, start a new folder. We'll call it Video Demo Demo 1. 
And in that, I'm going to put all my resources that you're going to use actually to make this application work. So we're done with that. Let's go back to Dreamweaver. And I want to create a site. So let's go to Site and Create New Site. And I'm going to call this uh, Video Demo. And I want to make sure that I navigate to the folder that I'm going to put that in. So let's go to our desktop, Lessons 1, uh, JavaScript Video Demo 1 that we created earlier. Hit Select. And I'm done with that. And I'm going to go ahead and hit Save. So now my site's created, and I'm talking to that particular site. And I'm just going to create a simple web page. So I'll go to HTML, click on that. And we're going to put Hello Ajax. And you can stylize that as well if you want to. Give it a header one if you want to. And there you go, nice and big Ajax. And let's go ahead and save that. And we're just going to call that main. And we're placing that in the file folder that we just created. We'll call that main file. Absolutely wonderful. Now with that done, we can actually start working with and building an Ajax application.